there's so many crises out there today all over the world. I think the, the world's got to come together and understand that we're facing the worst humanitarian crisis since World War II. We have more conflict than we've ever had in a long, long time. 80% of our funding is now in war zones. Our goal is to end world hunger by 2030. With all the conflict and all the war, it's not even possible. We've got to have more money. We've got to have more funds. Otherwise, more people are going to starve and die. And so what we're asking, step up with more funds or number two, end the wars. That's the message this week. The way to end hunger is not going to come from the government sector alone. It's got to integrate the private sector. So the World Food Program, we look to work with par and partner with the private sector using social media. Uh, we want to appeal particularly to the millennials and to the youth out there that we believe that are, that are fed up with all the religious and political division. And I think, I think the world is looking for something to rally around, feel good about. And helping starving children, why, I can't think of anything better unite people around the world than that. And I think the young people are going to rise up and help us address world hunger by helping children all over the world. And I always get this question from a lot of young people. Well, what can I do? You know, it's the problem's so big. You know, all the darkness in the world can't put out the light of one little match. Every young person can be that match in their neighborhood, in their community. All you gotta do is step out. You'll be amazed at what doors open and how many people you can help. And you'll find out when you're helping others, you can help yourself. It's quite an amazing thing.